Hello, everyone out there. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now, other than the fact that I'm making a video. Okay, so, I am currently in the process of deciding and being approved for a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, better known as VSG. So, how did I even like think of this? Well, for starters, one thing that I noticed about a lot of the people who start thinking about this is us as larger women, we just, we just cover up because if we don't have to see it, nobody else, we don't have to have anybody else see it and it's just easier. So let's get comfortable because this is not going to be here forever. Um, I think one of the like main motivators for me to be more fit and healthy Sorry about that noise, my dog is just going to town on this bone here. As you can see, lock, represent, and I got my camo. Can you see that? No, I'm just kidding. The tactical military lifestyle, this does not fit it. I am not personally trying to go into the military, nor have I ever been. Love the military. Thank you everyone who's watching for your service. If you have done that or anybody in your family, Love you. My husband is a Marine, so full supporter. So, this doesn't fit tactical lifestyle. When you want to talk about going out and shooting guns and rolling around on the ground, that sounds like torture. Okay, that's like a day in paradise for my husband. And it just sounds like straight up painful to roll around on these knees and then having to get up with this weight like <laughs> you're practically benching you're practically benching 200 pounds every time you get down and you stand up at this weight that that be not much of it right now i know i don't want to know should we go see you guys want to go see all right let's go look i know you do Everybody always wants to know. I also noticed that a lot of people just don't show themselves because that's just how we are. We're just like, we're headshot. And um, I have two little girls, so you'll understand why I'm saying that in just a minute. Here we go. Don't pay attention to the feet. I don't do them because I can't reach them. I mean, I can, but you know how it is. Uh, you won't be able to see my legs. It's not because I don't want to show you, but I just, I don't know, this thing is like super up high and I'm short, so I don't like this kind of thing. If that kind of freaks you out, then move to the next one. That's done out there. I better see my business. Um, some of this didn't happen until, you know, early 2016 after I had my first child like this on the sides just like came out of nowhere. I swear, like people say, yeah, your body, it's never the same after you have a kid, but I didn't think like in that way. But I mean, I guess it's different for everybody, but that is like this, this, this right here was not there and even though I was 300 something like this was not there and I did not gain that much weight in my pregnancy and this as soon as I had her and I had my c-section it was just like boop. like who wants to sit down and look like this because I don't <laughs> anymore I went on a trip to in February um, Oh, today is August 16th, 2019. I went on a trip in February and I had to go to New Jersey for my job and I did not have to get an extension 
for the seatbelt, but it did buckle and I was so relieved. Up until the point, like I'm pretty sure the entire time from when I left my house to when I got on the airport, aside from the fact that like, I forgot my whole laptop and all that kind of stuff, um, I was sweating, just sweating out of the anticipation and the anxiety from having to go down the middle of the aisle and sit in the seat and thinking about somebody sitting next to me and being like, oh. like not when I, I don't want to touch her fat, like, uh, you know, like all these things that always go on in our head, <laughs> people probably don't even think that. I mean, I don't know. I just, in my head, that's probably, I guess, how I feel about myself and I, because I don't think that about other people. Like, I never do I ever look at somebody and say, man, I hope her fat doesn't touch me one day. <laughs> what? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense to me. Why I think other people would think it, I, I don't know. Anyways, I usually don't talk this much. You can ask my husband, I'm the listener and he's the talker, like, he can talk. Which, by the way, <laughs> Speaking of my husband, I was watching, you know, a YouTube vlogger and someone who had some serious complications at the beginning of theirs and had to go back to the hospital multiple times. <laughs> I had already watched others, other videos where people were just fine, but this other girl, I was watching her video. Um, she kept it so G, I like really appreciated her. Um, I was playing it on the TV in my house and he walked in from work <laughs> right in the middle of her being like hospital, super dehydrated, can't keep anything down. She was like doing the whole like every worst case scenario and <laughs> she follows up with, I'm not trying to talk anybody out of this because I would go back and do it all over again the exact same way if I, you know, if I could. <laughs> he's, he's like looking at me like. You're not getting that done. <laughs> like, she's just your worst case scenario, okay? That's like one in a hundred. I don't, I don't know the odds. I was like, listen, it's not gonna be me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fine. Trust me. And his opinion was gonna be like the one of the wavering factors because that's just how our marriage works. Just you know. Yes, no, work it out together, make a decision as a team, and you move on. I wasn't nervous to tell him about it at all. I had just lost like the 30 pounds or something like that right before I met him. When I was living at home, I was doing so good because my mom was on it with me. I was on it. We were together, like she was cooking. I just had my kids, so like she was cooking, portioning, um, grocery shopping. I mean, I was 100% spoiled. And I, I did not take it for granted a bit. I was in heaven. I love my mom. Then uh, we got him moved because we dated long distance for over a year. We got him moved and um, we got him a new job. We had to enroll his daughter <laughs> into school down here. I bought a house and we got married. All like in the same three month time frame. It was stressful. And my wedding dress almost didn't fit because of it. <laughs> Which by the way, it probably wouldn't even fit now. <sighs> it's okay. I'll be able to fit one of my kids in there with me when we're all done with this. Yeah, I don't really have too much more to say. I guess I'll just like check back in, especially when I hear back from the doctor's office, hopefully next week with the, um, whether or not I'm approved and what the next steps are because I know I have to see a nutritionist and go to those things and I gotta see a psychologist probably. And then there's the whole, the girl that I know at my job who got this from the same doctor that I'm going to, the surgeon that I'm going to, she had to do a two week, the two week liquid diet, like clear liquid diet beforehand. So I'm not really looking forward to that. Seriously, just today, I was like, I'm gonna give up carbonation. Ain't no thing, because I'm not gonna have it after surgery, so I'll just give it up now. Yeah. I had a soda. Okay. I mean, I'll just try again. 
I mean, what else can you do? That's not what we do. We just like try again, and try again, and try again, and try again. I, don't, I just can't go any further over 340, ever. I will not get to 350. I will not get to 341. I will not get to 340.1. I don't think I ever said my name. It's Ellen. Yeah, just in case I referenced that. I feel like I watched like five people whose name was Sierra, and I was like, well, I should just say my name is Sierra. Anyways, that's it. I'll check back with you later. Next week. I don't know. Later today. I saw my husband and be like, hey, make a video. Because he loves to talk. That's it. I'm out. See you next time.